Hey, so, you know, let's talk about fucking what we do, right? Dude, how stressful this shit can get. I mean, getting it down to what the customer wants is just, man, that can be such a fucking pain in the ass sometimes. Well, I mean, not to mention, everybody knows what what we're dealing with. We're dealing with firearms, antique bayonets. Harley parts, everything that like literally most men would probably cut off their right nut versus get rid of, Mm -hmm. you know? So it's not like we're just dealing with the average shit that somebody just doesn't care about. You know, it has to come back. Correct. (laughs) No, absolutely. You know, and and I mean, uh, so we'll take your son's gun example or uh, tore uh, uh, old metal's gun, yeah, you know, right? The shotgun, which was probably the best dip that we've done to this day, right? And it's just, it's getting you know, we we come up with a vision of, of how we want that to come out, right? right? And we're like, no, we, you know, it needs to sell it to the customer, is in no, you don't want to do the whole thing. You, you want this, this, and this contract, right? Right. right. And, and either they go with it or they don't. Um, but that one turned out really well with, you know, hey, leave this, leave this, leave this. Don't do it all kind of thing, right? Yep. And your son's gun came out the same way, you know. And and that that was, you know, the, the hydrographic side of it. And I can mix most pain to kind of touch it up. Um, which, you know, um, sometimes, sometimes I kick myself in the ass for, and sometimes <laughs> I don't, because if you fuck it up, guess what you're doing? Redipping. You, you're re-stripping the whole yep. fucking thing to redip this all over again. And it's just like, and, and some people don't see like, you know, most of that's out of our pocket, you know, because yeah. like, we're not going to give it back to you fucked up no i well you take uh and you take probably the last hate guy. me for it because i am a nitpicker no i i'm, I'm the same way I, I want everything to be right and we both did that same thing with that um awesome uh awesome uh um gun that was given to us the the latex green uh-huh. painted gun the customer all he wanted was just to paint the upper the lower and he shell. That's all he wanted Cerakoted. And then we put the rest of that stuff back together for him. And it made the gun look like crap. So what did we end up doing? We ended up doing the whole gun. And the only thing we charged for was what the customer wanted. Well, y- yes, yes and no. Uh, because there were still parts missing to the gun. Right. But as far as what he gave us, well, well, everything right, was everything right. was if it don't look right going out our door. We're not going to let it go out the door. Yeah, no, yeah. absolutely. Uh, you know, and it seems like I don't know if we, you just have it down right. But we the people is the thing, right? I mean, dude, we can just we the people like nonstop back to back to back to back. I can mix the paint to touch up. We the people, yeah. There's no problem. With we the people, but it's that specialized film that we got to order and, and some people what they want we have to reach outside of who we usually deal with and we don't know how it's going to work because right? every film act reacts completely different you know you use liquid concept film or or you use dip pro film and then you use somebody else's activator oh you're getting surprises oh, yeah 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 you know, so yeah. I mean, it, it's it, you know, and I'm not saying it's a terrible thing. I, I think it's uh, you know, it's uh, at that moment kind of thing for us. You know, it's almost like somebody says, "Hey, I want you know, 50 rounds of this, right?" So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to reload 50 rounds for them, right? And then they're going to come. Did you use this much, you know, black powder? I wanted this much black powder. I'm like. No, I went by what fucking Hornaday said. Right. You know, and they're like, no, 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 no. I want it down to the grain. Well, then I'm breaking out my fucking little eye thing, you know, fucking like cutting fucking 
gunpowder for these fucking people, right? <laughs> and I was like, well, you should have said that at the beginning because you just said you wanted this. Yep. But then, you know, as the business grows, you're just like, fuck, man, this shit. You know, it's like kind of like at work when people start fucking up, there's another safety rule for yep. every fucking thing. And you're like, oh, so, you know, and when you walk into a new company, you're like, oh, uh, well, this safety rule's in effect. That means somebody did this at one time. Yep. Well, it's coming down to that to where, hell, I can't even reload ammo without like 50 questions, you know? Right. And I got it, you know, for the long range shooters and shit like that. But, you know, most of them know to say, hey, I want this. This is what I want, you know, at, you know, straight across the board. And, you know, for um, dipping, it, it's it's the hydrographic side of it. It's just like, man, it can be such a fucking pain in ass. And, and, you know, the other thing, too, like you said earlier in the podcast, everything comes out of our money. You know, we're, we're a startup. This was our first year. Oh, yeah. You know, a year ago today, we were sitting on the couch basically talking about what we're going to do. And then it changed from that and it, and it morphed into this and that. And then we started implementing a plan. And it hasn't stopped since. But with that, like you said. That growth and everything that we're we're adding to the company comes out of our pocket. I mean, the the equipment, the because we don't make our own film, so we're we're buying film and having to guess how much film that we're going to need because we don't want to keep a whole bunch of stuff on hand without knowing because every customer is different. Well, well, with that too, you know, I you know to comment on that part of it, it's just like you know. We can't find a film that they, like uh, what I I texted you the other day. I had a live, and yep. and two people got on there saying, "Hey, we want you Oz, uh, we want hydrographics in the Oz, and we want to dip our rifle in the Oz." I was like, "Really? Yeah. The fuck?" And see, the well, fuck if I know if that exists, we're gonna have to research that shit. And and uh, again, in this in this industry. A lot of the films come from artists. So companies will partner with artists. They will design patterns and films and they will get a cut of every time they sell this film, they'll get a percentage for their art. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, it's like t-shirts, man. Right. And, or, you know. and people want Oz, but they don't understand that's trademarked. I would have, you'd have to go through Disney to, to get it. And, and Disney's not going to make that. And, and a legitimate company, this isn't like a, a, a company that just does self-printing T-shirts, you know, where you can get away with copyright infringement, uh, you know. I but get away with that either, though. Yeah, but but definitely not as a company. You're not printing rolls of, of Oz stuff without using a license deal. Right, right, right. You right. know, and so it makes it hard. So then you got to take that customer, the, okay, they want Oz. Let me find something that doesn't say oz but represents oz <laughs> you know yeah, and, and that's where or something right and that's where it gets hard yeah, yeah. well so so yeah i no, absolutely i'm not arguing with any of that i mean we we've kind of you know went with this supplier and then we're like no we don't want to go with this supplier no more let's go with this supplier you know this supplier seems to be like the one that works every time for us yeah. you know i mean uh sometimes you have to reach outside your realm but you don't know what you're getting right right or you know what you're gonna get but you don't know how it's gonna turn out i mean you we got one right? we got one film from a guy that we used to use i'm not gonna mention the company's name and we put the film in the water and it disintegrated and we were out 40 bucks in film because it just crumbled right you know, we didn't even get to use it to dip. As soon as you put it in, and, and it's still in the tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And so, I mean, what do you do in that instance? It's not like you can mail it back to them. No, no. But you still had a customer's gun, too. And you, and you still got to finish it. Or, or you know, I don't know. I We're going to stick with the people that we did my Harley in. 
Yeah. I love their film and it seems to, you know, work they, out for you. And they're super friendly too. And if anybody's like wondering, Don's the hydrographic guy. I'll prep the guns, but he's the hydrographic guy. Um, but then we've added to that since since then, right? So we have started the uh Cerco. Yep. Which has its ups and fucking downs too. Another another thing that people don't understand <laughs> is the cost of paint. Yeah, you ever seen like dude, like, like th- this this right here, right? I mean, from Saracote itself is forty five dollars plus shipping. Plus shipping, you can find some of it on Amazon for thirty five, but it's still coming out forty five with shipping. Oh, what? <laughs> But yeah, none of it falls under Amazon Prime. Right. So far. So I'm just saying this look, there's a beer can, right? This is $45 of paint. So I mean, but what what but that's one color. That, that that's one color. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but so I have I have been able to, you know, I mean, as far as like camouflage, army colors, you know, or or basic red, white, and blue, I can get right. It's it's the when you get it. So okay, I'm sorry. Let me let me go with we do dash C right. So it's it dries. It's air dry. It air dries pretty much right. But it does limit you to colors. It does uh, well. I have to buy the paint, and try to mix it myself to get whatever it is that the customer wants. I'm still limited to what colors I can I can mix. So until you know uh, we get an oven to so, cook the parts in or or whatever it is that we do, I can't do a Harley. That'd be a big ass oven. Yeah, but but you know, companies that that do powder coating are in that same dilemma. You know, you're limited to the customer base by the size of your oven. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the other thing too, you know, we said it <clears throat> last year. Our goal was by the end of this year to be in business. Oh yeah, we met that goal. Yeah. All right. By next year, I would say by the end by December of 2023, the goal that I would like to see us at is the seracoding and the uh, hydrographics are on autopilot. Every everything from supply shipping, online orders, the whole nine yards is is finalized. Now, I would like to see us grow, and and this is my thing that I want to work on, and I don't know how it's going to work out, so it may never happen, but I want to incorporate engraving. Oh, no. Yeah, you brought that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But after doing more research, I want to do hand engraving. Hand? Yeah. Hand? Yeah. (laughs) With your shaky-ass hand? Uh, Yep. Are you serious? Yep. Why? It just looks amazing. You better take some calligraphy classes or some shit, man. I mean, so are you serious? Yep, I'm dead serious. I've already priced all the equipment. But yeah, that's besides the point, bro. So when I get back from vacation, I'm well, like, you ain't even got a stroke. You can just sit there and hold it. You're fucking shaking so bad. <laughs> I mean, you can get off in like minutes. But it's it's weird. Once I get close, my hand straightens out. It's it's only when I'm aiming. <laughs> that's it, what she said yeah but she got pregnant so it worked <laughs> oh so like i said that is that's something i want to work not on. tell me that and i'm glad we're doing a podcast and you finally break that news to me but you know i mean i mean and well and like i said it'll be spend a year practicing you know this won't be customer ready until you know, hopefully, maybe by the end so, of next year. So I've had guns made for other people, like leaving my, you know, company and stuff like that. We buy them, you know. I'd go by the pawn shop and find a nine mil or a forty-five, 
and I'd get in grade with what unit and what company we were in and shit. And like, but that wasn't in great. That was a, a laser right, engraver. Right. It wasn't like somebody was sitting there like you're out your fucking mind. Well, you're talking hours of no of work goes your into fucking it. mind. Yeah, yeah. Point blank, you're out of your mind. But your your customer base will be a lot much smaller too because our customer you're base not, is small now. Right, that's because we're, <laughs> we're starting out. But you know, you're you're not going to get the average guy. It's not going to pay you to do a whole gun. You know, I uh, mean, you're, you're talking thousands of dollars. Yes. So, uh, we're hoping we got some good, like, oh, I, I can't remember the dude's name, uh, from Spooner. I uh, got some good guests coming up. Yep. So, um, so that's, that's where me and Spooner was talking yesterday. I really want to see us dive deeper and bigger into our interviews. You know, this year we spent, Call it uh, getting to know everybody. Because that's really what we were introducing our dumbasses to the rest of the world. But I think next year... Our dumbasses will expand out? Yes. Oh. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to... You know, there there is a lot of topics that's not even just military. But, you know, I'm listening to a military channel right now. And the guy is interviewing the drug runner for um, Pablo. <laughs> really? Yeah. Has nothing to do with military. From Atlanta, Georgia. Did not know that. Didn't see that coming. Who? The runner. Oh, okay, okay. Started out. He started out running uh, marijuana. Do I need to reach outside the realm? Is that what you're saying? I'm just saying we can. Well, I'm saying. I mean, we we need to probably. Yeah. yeah. I I think so. We yeah, because if I think most of our the 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 people that follow us are civilians. Yeah, I and, hate to say it, but I mean, even though we're trying to combat suicide uh, for military vets, uh, well, you know, my thoughts is also this, man. There's a lot of areas that becomes brackish water between the civilians and the military. Brackish. Especially right now. Brackish. Yep. That's so, word. We're, yep. It's it's where salt water and fresh water mix. I got you. All right. I got you. So, Rich Vanille. Yep. Yeah. So, physical security right now, I think, is on yeah. a lot of civilians' names. Yeah. You know what I mean? The school security is my kids safe at school? You know, people that are, are doing well off are, are my kids going to be abducted? You know, they don't know how everything's turning and i think you know a lot of military guys we don't really sit back and think like that you know because we were trained for awareness situation awareness we we keep ourselves out of areas and places where they become questionable and we lose control yeah you know and and there's been a lot of tests done where where civilians were tested to see if they notice things really? like you know, coming home from work every day. And then all of a sudden one day there's a guy standing at the edge of the, the, the garage on the side of it. And the guy just got out of his car and walked in his house. Didn't notice it. <laughs> you know, those are things that, you know, people that are familiar with combat, we get used to situational awareness. So I think that's areas where, our topics can kind of merge, you know, there's, there's a desire for information there from their side. And, and it's a topic that we don't really talk about because it's second nature to us. So maybe we could try to reach out and have some. So James reach outside Bond the realm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 So, I mean, I got hit by a couple of people saying, why did you hit me back? And I'm like, uh dude i brought the idea up if you didn't hit me back i mean <laughs> yeah. sorry it's like we we even got the uh the, the that form on our website yep you know so i'm not sure everybody's we even, our website though. we even have a chat you can hit one button and instantly be chatting with us that ain't happened yet either no no nope. nope. uh, have you tested it yep 
Oh, it, it works. does work. It works. You were yeah. you were talking to yourself. It uh well hey, I, I logged in as myself fucker. and it goes to uh I think it still goes to the Savahe Army. Oh yeah. So, yep. I don't think it, it's set up for two drum boots. Oh no. Oh okay. All right. Well, I ain't got a notification yet. It's because nobody hit the button. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hit the button. But anyway, um. We got, we got, you know, between the podcast and the and the business, I think big things. I think twenty twenty three is going to be a big deal. Twenty twenty three. So, let's see, uh, real quick. Bitch. We're twenty two away from hitting seventy five. Right? Yeah. The next goal. Twenty two. I keep on refreshing like it's going to change, but 22. <laughs> well, it should be there this week, I think. So, like, it, it, it's, it's, uh, so, the, I mean, the whole podcast thing, I mean, if you want to, you want to dive into that shit, it's like you can go a straight week with one download. Yep. And all of a sudden you got a hundred downloads. It's like, what the fuck is going on? Yep. There's no rhythm, no rhyme. Yesterday. Or no, was it today or yesterday? We had one? No, no. Well, uh, <laughs> so, uh, no, uh, like today, a hundred, a hundred. Are you serious? Yeah. A hundred today. Yesterday, one. hundred today. Yesterday, one. <laughs> and like, uh, mind, Saturday man. was four and Friday was 13. So it, it's weird how this shit works. Right. Yeah. Like all we need is twenty two to hit the next goal. But wow. um that's amazing. It's it's uh I I don't understand. No, I don't uh, I don't understand how the numbers work or if we go down it's just yeah. I mean and and that's another thing too, you know, people people say, Hey, you should have damn Joe Rogan on your show. Would they would they fail to realize? Is we're nobodies. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, we ain't. Yeah, we don't even fuck. We have a monthly membership to hosting that sends us out to the rest of the world. So there's nothing coming in. There's no Joe Rogan money here. <laughs> no, there's no Joe Rogan. No, 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 no. no. We're, we're not flying guests in. I mean, our next guest is a, a dude that was getting drunk with us uh, from like outside of fucking Fort uh, Wood. Half our guests are still using Zoom on their phone. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and, and another guest after that will be uh, Hicks, who, well, he he builds some awesome guns. Though. Yes, he does. He, he builds some amazing guns, and he's got ten times his amount as guns as we oh, yeah. do. Yeah, that he hides in an RV somewhere. But I mean, uh, but we have not had any like amazing guests. No. And I think this Ukrainian or the guy that went to Ukraine will be the first, like, wow. Yeah. Fucking like, wow. You know? So hopefully that works out. Um, Spooner, if you're listening, which I know you will, uh, he's going to, he's going to text me and say, motherfucker, I was part of that. Yep. Bitch. Yep. What do you mean I wasn't a wow? No, we, bitch, you weren't a wow. We were trying to make him, I'm trying to make him a third drunk dude. <laughs> what? I mean, he needs to join the team. He does need to join the team. Um, we'll see if that happens, though. But, uh, I mean, I can invite, seeing how I pay for it, uh, up to like fucking what, like 500 fucking people on the Zoom. It's uh, 100 and something. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I paid a minimum. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, oh. my bad. I can have a hundred people on Zoom at mm -hmm. one time. That was more than that. We 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 just haven't got the the cyber geeks yet to to help us out. Because is that what it is? Because that that's another thing people don't understand either. When we started this. I no, I didn't know how to edit anything. I didn't know how to do music. We You're didn't doing pretty good though. I didn't have a clue. How microphones worked, none of that shit, man. How many hard drives did we go through that I fucked up? I don't know. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, well. <laughs> so, I, I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into everything we fucking do. Absolutely. There really is. You sit back and you count the hours that that we put into people's guns and, and our show and and everything, man. We spend a lot of time in this gun room. Yeah. <laughs> well, whether it's touching up paint or, or fucking getting fucked up, I mean, or reading old demo. Yep. Oh, I forgot to tell you, too. Academy has some 300 fucking brass there. No, no shit. Just yeah. brass? Yeah, a couple bags of it. Really? Yeah. I don't know how much it was, so it didn't have price. But seems uh we ain't got that much. I can't reload that much. Yeah. But anyway, I think that's it, bro. I think the bottom line bottom line 2023 is gonna be a big year. It's gonna be our breakout year. It better be. We'll find I'm tired. out. I'm tired of working for people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that alone. Yeah, I'm I'm still butthurt. So y'all take care. Be safe. See ya.